And we are following breaking news out of North Korea. We have learned that North Korea has fired a projectile. Let's go straight to Paula Hancock's in Seoul, South Korea, with the very latest. Paula? Hello, Amara. Well, there are a few details at this point. We know from a South Korean Defense Ministry official that there was a projectile fired uh, from North Korea this morning. Uh, we don't have a time, and we know that uh, uh, the uh, the ministry, the military uh, of South Koreans and the U.S. are currently monitoring to find out exactly what kind of projectile it was. They'll be looking at satellite images, uh, they'll be looking at the trajectory to see how far it went, and we're hoping to have those details shortly. This is where North Korean money goes to. It does not go to uh, to improving the life of the North Korean people. It goes to improving this program, uh, which uh, which Kim Jong-un has really staked his reputation on. Uh, we heard him just on, on January 1st in his New Year's address saying that he was close to test launching an ICBM, an inter intercontinental ballistic missile that, that potentially could hit mainland United States. That's clearly his goal to be able to do that. President Trump delivers a new message telling the Financial Times the U.S. is prepared to act alone to curb North Korea's nuclear ambitions, saying, quote, if China is not going to solve North Korea, we will. These comments come after the North Koreans have made a show of testing several ballistic missiles during the beginning of the Trump administration. Meanwhile, several hundred miles away, the U.S. and South Korean troops continue to conduct joint military exercises. Top North Korean official for U.S. Affairs tells me our army is at the highest alert. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet.